guys i just want to get on here and kind of show you what all i've done today but um had some crazy things happen the last couple days um yesterday not crazy things just one crazy thing uh yesterday evening malachi my youngest um, boy i went to pick him up i was playing with him and he needed his butt changed and he went to wailing and wailing and his hand hit me in the eye and his fingernail scratched off some of the clear layer that is over your cornea or the color of your eye and I had a big chunk of it missing and it hurts so bad but by this evening it's actually already grew back and it it still feels a little scratchy but it's not um horribly painful like it was so I'm thankful for that <laughs> I did pray last night and I had other people praying I, I did kind of panic at first because I was like I don't know what to do but we had some antibiotic ointment for the eye so I went ahead and used that and I've had some eye drops so that's what I'm, I've been doing I'm gonna continue to do for the next few days so hopefully it will be all right but I've been outside my face is red because I'm a little sunburnt I've been doing some um, a little bit of gardening today so I just wanted to kind of show y'all what I've done so I'm gonna show you now Silver Owl. You wanna say hi? Can you say hi? Yeah? No? Huh? Can you crow for me? He's like, no, I'm not gonna crow for you. <laughs> We've got him this little makeshift house for right now until we get something else for him. But he's enjoying it here okay so here's my herb garden i'm gonna plant some more i think onions down here i'll probably pull these up I'm not sure about that they may say but right in here i planted some chives and some lavender i bought some or uh, what else was it that i planted lemon verbena or something that hold on i've got packages right here lemon balm that's that's what it was lemon balm planted this and these are the chives I planted those in these areas and some lavender I think right here's the lemon balm lavender and then the chives are on down here with the onion area but I got some rosemary this is lemon verbena verbena I think that's what it's called I could be saying it completely wrong let's see here verbena can you see it? There we go. There we go. So that got planted there. I've got a sage right there. I got a sage back there and I have a sage right here. They're all different. This one has more of purple. This is multicolored and this is a more of a multicolored too, but this one's more yellow and gr like brighter green. And this is got white and green on it. But I got rosemary here, a rosemary here. Let's see here. Another rosemary there, a rosemary there. And what is that? Let's see here. Let's see if I can pull it up here. Sweet Mar Dor Drum. But that's what I got going on here. I do have my uh, parsley right here that's growing up. So I'm hoping that it spreads out a little bit because it used to be a really big area. And then over there, I've got parsley and stuff, or not parsley, cilantro, cilantro growing right in there. So I'm hoping that grows pretty good and I'm gonna try to harvest it. I do believe there's more down in that area. I mean, it's right there, but there's more little cilantros coming up, but there's a bunch of different mints and I didn't wanna pull them up. I'm okay with them being there and I'll probably harvest some of them. I'm planning on probably pulling that area, that stuff right there up because that is Brussels sprouts. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do exactly there. Woo! There's a bug. Anyways, so I'm up here on my front porch, and I had two um, lilac bushes that I had bought, and I'd never planted them, and they were in the window, and I was like, shoot, I've got to do something with them. So I went ahead and planted them up front. I don't know if this was the right thing to do, but it is what it is, and I can always dig them up if I don't like them. But I've got other plants, and my mom had, I had bought her some flowers for Mother's Day one year, and these baskets, these hanging baskets, she brought them back to me. They were white with the orange, like, 
ring around them and Michael spray painted them brown for me so they they look beautiful now <laughs> again because they were sun faded and all that stuff so I did plant some flowers in them but they haven't bloomed but there is some type of like vine thing that's growing in them and I just left that so I'm going to show that to you as well okay right there's my lilac bush my clematises which I plant it right here that will grow up it's a vine they're coming in good my roses are looking like they're about to bloom I did buy myself a um, aloe plant, and then I've got these flowers, but then I've got these baskets that Michael painted for me. I've got two of them. I've got one on the other side of the porch here. But I also have these rose bushes, and this clematis is actually starting to grow. Yay! And I planted the lilac bush there. So we're gonna see what happens. So I'm, I'm sitting out here on the swing and my husband doesn't want to be recorded, but you get to see his lovely arm. <laughs> and you should see him looking at me right now. <laughs> really? Stop. <laughs> he is alive and he, I do have a husband. I know people probably think, well, she ain't got no husband. She ain't ever on there. Look at that beautiful beard. <laughs> Came up here to show y'all all what me and Maggie did this morning. We cleaned out the actual inside of the house and everybody got new hay out here. They've been enjoying it. Haven't you, Mary? Everybody looks happy. here and do some weeding and different things but you can really start to see my radishes and my spinach and I think those are collard greens lettuce and then down through here I've got some uh, Swiss chard that's what it is and over there you can really see my sweet peas or whatever they're called sweet snap peas or whatever and then all my onions I do need to get out here with my tiller and kind of go in between. But some of the green, like right in there, in the rolls and stuff, is actually cabbage, broccoli, and what else did I plant? Brussels sprouts. And there seems to be something else, but I can't remember. Maybe I planted some more carrots. That might be what's right down through here. But I've got some pumpkins and gourds and winter squash around the edges starting to... To bloom out but I'm excited because hopefully in the next week or so we'll get to have some spinach and lettuce at least and right there are some pumpkins that started growing up from last year I think there's another one right over there I've seen a couple of them the radishes are getting big I don't know how long I think they only take like 30 days or something like that and if they're good and done my chickens may be getting a treat soon They got all new hay. I'm surprised there's even any on the sides. But we put it down pretty thick in here so that they wouldn't knock it off. And I try to mat it down some. It looks like somebody tried to make a nest there already. They know I got the door open. They're gonna try to get out. I'm gonna check for eggs real quick. I got some already starting to come in for the evening. And go to bed, I'm disturbing them. <laughs> So my husband has been busy today as well, doing things for me <laughs> with my honey do list. But one of them is we have, whew, sorry, I'm out of breath. We have these rain barrel, well, not rain barrels, but they're barrels that we collect the rain. We'll collect up in here and there's an open hoe here. But we had it in the garage during the winter and we did fill it up with water. But what we're doing right now is he's draining it out so that we can take this back up to the chickens, just fill it up. So all we have to do is actually turn the nozzle down there and we have a water hose that we can just put into the water container. So we're not having to carry buckets up there all the time. We just have to fill this up once. It also collects rain and that helps with not having to fill it up, but we only have to fill up maybe once a week. But I wanted to show you what else he's been working on, which 
but you'll be able to see in just a second. Do you see them? You can't really see them. I'm gonna turn the camera around and get closer to them. But these are my, whew, these are my trellises for my, um, I've got some beans that climb and I've got some cucumbers and stuff like that that I'm gonna plant there. I'm gonna go over there and show you real quick. A lot better. Do you see them? They look like little houses. He did a really good job on them. But I'm gonna plant, like I said, I've got some beans. I've got some long beans. I don't know what they're called. But I just got a bunch of different climbing things and I've got four of them. This one's a little bit smaller and there's one on the other side that's smaller. But also, if you come over here and look, I do have a few sunflower seeds that are, or seeds, sunflower plants that are popping up. I've got one right there. Where was the other one at? Along this line right here, I had sunflowers planted last year. So I've got several that are just like on the grass line, but I'm not really sure exactly where they are at. I'll have to look down through here. But anyways, um, you can kind of see the lines going back and forth. This is not how we're gonna plant the garden this year. It's gonna go back and forth like this. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed my vlog. Um, I'm probably gonna throw in some pictures here in just a little bit so that you can see around the farm and just kind of what it looks like here in Kentucky at this time of year, which is my favorite time of year, yay. I'm so excited about it. And hopefully by next weekend, I can have some of my garden planted. But I hope you come back. I'll see you later. God bless you.